it is Tanya with Thrifty Treasures. Welcome to another video where I show you how to repurpose something. So what we are going to be repurposing today are some glass uh, lampshades that I picked up at Goodwill. These are the type of shades that would probably go like on a um, ceiling fan. There are three of them included in here and I paid um, $3.99 for these. Um, there were some different ones too, but they were pretty plain looking. I liked how these had the um, the different colored frosted glass on there like that. And also liked how it was rib ribbed here along the top. Look at this ring, you guys. <laughs> I just put it on for fun, but um, I picked it up at um, Goodwill for $12.99. Isn't it pretty? It's uh, sterling silver uh, with, I guess, like, like gold overlay on top of it. But the little stone in there kind of looks like, you know, like a diamond and it's so sparkly. <laughs> But um, I just picked it up and um, put it on just for fun. I actually forgot I had it on, but yeah. So I'm glad you got to, guys got to see my new ring. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, I picked up these. And what we're going to be doing is we are going to be repurposing these into um, little uh, planter pots. So, um, and then for $2.99, I picked up this glass tray right here. And my plan is to have these sit on the table outside and I'm going to put the planters around in a circle and I'm gonna have some plants coming out of them. So without further ado, let's go outside and get the plants inside these um, lampshades. Okay guys, I am outside now and I'm gonna start putting the plants in the lampshades. So I picked these real pretty plants here. They're called portulaca or purslane. I think I'm saying that right. Purslane, portulaca. So um, these are real pretty. I love these plants. And really, I think they're going to be the perfect size for the lampshades. You just want to kind of push it down in there. They fit perfect. Two last ones. Okay, and here they are on the plate. Now I got some rocks from my garden and I was going to originally use these on the bottom for drainage, but actually I think they're going to drain just fine from the bottom of that right there. So I'm just going to use these for decoration. Okay, let me go set it on the table and show you what it looks like. Okay, and here is the finished product. So it has some little pebble river rocks there on the bottom. I think it's very shabby chic. What do you guys think? You like it? And if you ever repurpose something with lampshades with glass ones, I would love to hear what you did with them. Let me know in the comments down below. Hi. Hi. Okay, so as long as we're talking about plants, I thought it would be a fun time to show you guys all of my animal planters that I have. So here is my little owl one. This one has an ivy one it ivy inside of it, and um, I keep this one inside the house. Okay, here's my rabbit one. 
I bought this one at a garage sale, I think for about $3. And it just has some spider plants in it and I um, stuck a little bushel of fake flowers in it. Okay, and here is another little owl one. Uh, this one I just have a little fake plant in it and I have this one in my bedroom. And here is my little cat one. I picked this up at a garage sale a couple months ago. I think I paid about $2 for this one. And it just had some has some spider plants in it. These type of plants are really hard to kill. Um, if anybody wants some, send me a message. And um, if you pay for postage, I will send you a couple. So um, it's really hard to kill them. But the reason I chose them for this container is because it doesn't have anywhere to drain. And um, But these plants still do, still do pretty good in there. Okay, this is the dirty part of my um, patio, y'all, but here's my little koala bear planter. Um, it's just actually holding a um, part of a plant right now, so uh, I need to get that repotted. I can't even remember what it is. And here is my little rooster. I got this one in Austin at the Green Room Meetup. I think we went thrifting at a, I think a Salvation Army, if I'm not mistaken, and I thought it kind of looked like Talavera but I don't uh, believe it is Mexican pottery. Well, it's some kind of Mexican pottery. What's it say there? Heco, Heco Mexico. Okay, good. So yeah, they had $6.99 on it. I actually think that's what I paid for it too. Okay, and here is my pretty red fish planter. Um, this was originally from Pier 1. I saw the um, Pier one on the bottom of it and I picked this up at a garage sale I think about three months ago and I believe I paid five dollars for this one but I've um, got some geranium up here and the back end coming out of its tail and then just some ferns coming out of its mouth there and here are some of the habitats that I use uh, for raising my butterflies Okay, I have a few more over here. Here's my little lamb. I picked this one up at Moss Nursery. It's, I just put some caladiums in it. There's my little hippo. She has some um, impatience in it. And here's my little bull. He has um, spider plants in him. And this one I picked up at Goodwill for $5.99. I can't remember the name of that plant, but it's real pretty, isn't it? And then, uh, here we have some zinnias and my little owl face planter. Okay, and the last one that I wanted to show y'all is this cute little teapot here. Um, I actually think I'm going to give this one to my mom for her birthday. I also got her a gift card to get her nails done, but I think she'll really like that. It's really pretty and shabby chic, I think. And um, I got this at a garage sale or Goodwill. I can't remember. I've had it a while. And then this is a little boot. I think I paid a dollar for this at a church cell a couple weeks ago and so it looks really cute with the flowers in it huh okay so i hope you guys enjoyed my repurposing video um, if you guys have any ideas for repurposing i would love to hear about them uh, please share with me in the comments down below and i just might end up uh, making a video about it um, and of course give you credit <laughs> so um, i hope you also enjoyed seeing all of my animal planners um, I bought some new flowers today, so I put those um, in a lot of the planters that I had. I'm actually sweating. That's my workout for today, gardening. So um, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video and share it with your friends, and we will catch you in the next one. I'm really excited to um, bring you guys a um, crafting video next week. I've already, got, I've already bought the supplies for it, so I can't wait to share that with you guys next week. So we'll see you next time. Bye.